Item number SCP-1479. Index, inside, outside. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. The building that houses SCP-1479 has been successfully secured by Foundation Property Acquisition Techniques. The accompanying complex has been retrofitted into Biosite 66, with structures added both above and below ground to accommodate Foundation needs. Several additional SCP objects have been moved to neighboring buildings for study and containment. SCP-1479 itself is to be kept shut and locked when not in use for testing. Researchers are advised to not introduce organisms produced by other anomalous items into SCP-1479 for cross-testing. Description SCP-1479 is contained in a basement room of a building originally intended to house auxiliary machinery at a closed coal-fired power plant. An agent embedded in the local police force had been investigating reports of youth violence in the area and came upon SCP-1479 while scouring the plant with an investigation team. SCP-1479 appears to be an empty utility room that contains approximately 144 square kilometers of taiga. While walls are visible through electronic devices, none are visible to the unassisted eye. No physical barriers can be detected, and objects can apparently pass through these walls unhindered. From within, the entrance to SCP-1479 is set within a 3 meter by 5 meter rectangular granite megalith, which appears to be the only unnatural structure within the area. This megalith stands in the approximate center of the area. Wilderness extends approximately 6 kilometers in every direction. Before one finds themselves on the opposite edge of SCP-1479, facing the megalith again. Geography seems to be consistent between visits, and material and personnel deposited within the area remain inside if the door is closed. Time passes normally within SCP-1479, regardless of whether or not it is occupied. It has not been determined whether or not SCP-1479 has a proper ceiling. Weather patterns appear to follow those expected of similar geographic areas complete with seasons roughly analogous to areas at latitude 60 north, though said activity does not mirror that of any similar locations on Earth. On occasion, animal tracks, as well as small fauna such as birds and rodents, have been encountered within SCP-1479, with no apparent source. The original function and purpose of SCP-1479, if there even was one, is as of yet unknown.